Do you want to turn Minecraft from this to this? The game of Minecraft has had many facelifts over the years. Does anyone remember Faithful 32? This didn't change the game of Minecraft, but with that resource pack right there, it made the game look so much cleaner than its 16-bit standard. If you enjoyed this resource pack, it was hard to go back. Then came along shaders. Today, in just a few minutes, we're gonna be going through all the necessary steps of getting things downloaded and set up for fabric, as well as a few mods and some of my favorite shader packs. Don't worry, if that sounds like a lot, I will break down each step along the way. You can go back at any point and rewatch any of these steps. And if you have questions, drop those down in the comments below and I'd be happy to help you out. Also, there's a few links down in that description. Make sure and reference those ones as that's gonna help you out along the way. Well, time is valuable, so let's get started. The first link is gonna bring you here, which is gonna be our first step in downloading and setting up Fabric. Download for Windows, don't worry, this is not gonna mess up any saves or anything like that that you have from any other worlds. I'm gonna show you a trick for that. Now, let's go ahead and open up File Explorer navigate over to our download section and we're gonna have this fabric installer 1.00 executable double click on that now the installer is gonna go ahead and pop up depending upon what version you're going for in today's episode we're going for 1.20.4 but you can do different versions along the way we're gonna click on that loader loader version always stays the same location it knows where it needs to go create profile always make sure that one's ticked and click install and in just a few seconds that thing's done go ahead and click ok and now we're going to go ahead and open up our minecraft launcher the fabric installer already set up the necessary file needed and went ahead and created a profile for us as well you should see here fabric loader 1.20.4 if you don't come up here to the installations tab and you can see i've got a number of them we play a lot of different maps over here on the channels so if you're in adventure maps make sure to subscribe first step fabric loader 1.20.4 this might be different versions if you're trying to do different versions click on the three dots and edit we are going to set up our game directory click browse and you'll notice dot minecraft is going to be highlighted click on the drop down arrow scroll down to versions click on that drop down arrow and scroll on down we have fabric loader 0.15.7 and 1.20.4 click there and okay make sure and come all the way down here and click save now you're going to want to make sure and play you're going to go ahead and play minecraft java that has been modded click i understand the risk as well as play this is going to go through and download and set up basically your minecraft profile it's going to be like you've never played minecraft before so some of those settings you're going to need to go through and tweak i know a lot of times like your music might be too high or you might have a certain key bind or something like that make sure and go ahead and change that one before you jump into any of those worlds or anything like that press enter to enable the narrator no thank you we're going to go ahead and click continue now everything's all set up on this end now we got to go through and download some of those mod packs go ahead and close out of this one quick game and now the second link in the description should bring you here to our iris shaders the next link is going to go ahead and bring you over to sodium and the one after that is going to be the fabric api all right now that you've got all those ones open we want to go on the iris shaders we're going to go to filter versions and we're going 1.20.4 now there's a couple different ones here i always like to download all of them in my documents folder i have a minecraft folder that has a has all the different mod packs data packs resources packs that I have and I just put them in their folders looking at this one this is the latest one we can see that it works on fabric so we're gonna go ahead and click on this top option and then download we'll go ahead and let that download now let's move on to sodium now that we're here at sodium we want to go filter version 1.20.4 always want to click on the latest release so we're gonna go ahead and click on the top one here click download that one's gonna download lickety quick as well last is this fabric API filter versions 1.20.4 you can see the pattern here we're gonna click Click on the latest release and download all right now that we're here at this part i know a lot of times you're going to go to a percentage size app data percentage sign we're not going to be messing with that pull up your minecraft launcher go back here to the installations tab fabric loader 1.20.4 now go ahead and hit this file folder this is going to go ahead and bring us right to the location of where we need to put those mods you can see here it's already created the mods folder for us double click on that i'm on windows 11 so i'm just going to go ahead and open up a new tab here 
go over to downloads and there's where my jar files are if you're not on windows 11 don't worry about it open up file explorer so now you have two of them open navigate to your downloads and now you have them now you should have them side by side just like this right here we're going to take all three of these jar files holding control and clicking on each one of them we're going to go ahead and drag and move those over to the mods folder this fabric installer you can go ahead and delete that but if you're planning on setting up multiple versions like i have for all the different maps that we play here on the channel make sure and keep that installer handy now close out of both of those windows Come to your fabric loader 1.20.4, click play. And it's literally as easy as that to go ahead and set up with those mods. Sometimes you might have some troubles. I did just the other day setting up 1.20.2. So I had to download different iris packs but it does warn you exactly which ones you need to change and which ones are not compatible together. So as long as you go through that filter version, you can choose the top one. If that doesn't work, choose the next one and the next one. So now that we're here, we're gonna go and click options, click video settings, and you can see here at the end, we have our shader pack options. Clicking on that one, that's gonna go ahead and show you, we don't have any shader packs yet, which is gonna go ahead and bring us to the last page down in the description is the shader shader packs. Now, a couple of the shader packs that I always, BSL shaders is one that I get, complimentary shaders is one that I get, and solace shaders is one that I get as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down here as we open these ones up, see all versions, versions 1.20.4. We can see that there's two options. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the latest release and download. Here to the complimentary shaders packs as well, see all filter version. We're gonna click on that 1.20.4, this one only has one so we're gonna go and click on that one and download solo shader packs yet again see all filter 1.20.4 it looks like it only has a beta so this one may or may not work with 1.20.4 go ahead and click on that and download now let's head back to minecraft now that we're here we're gonna open up shader packs folder that's gonna go and open up obviously it's empty we haven't put anything in there yet if you're on Windows 11 come over here click on the new tab go to downloads hold control and click on all of the shader packs that you've downloaded right click cut go back and paste obviously if you're not on windows 11 go ahead and open up another file explorer open up your downloads drag and drop those puppies over to the shader packs folder and just like that you're done we're gonna go ahead and get that disabled and let's open up a brand new world world name like and subscribe and create a new world now just because you have these shader packs doesn't mean that you necessarily need to always run with them you could turn them on turn them off everything like that sometimes i'll go through and play with my vanilla pack and then there's other times where i'm filming or recording and i want to make sure that those shaders are on because it just looks amazing all right here we are right here this looks like a pretty nice little landscape we do have amplified set up so some of the terrain might look a little bit nicer than others i guess I do gotta say Amplified always gives you huge ocean biomes. Now let's go to our escape menu, options, video settings, shader packs. Let's start with the BSL and hit apply. All right, in just a few seconds that one go ahead and that's gonna go ahead and load in. Click done, 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 back to game. And here we are right here, BSL shader packs. This is one that I really, really like the look of. So a lot of my gameplays, this is the one that I'm usually rocking. And you can tell it just makes the landscape look so much better. Here's the complimentary shaders pack. This one looks pretty good. I think it really enhances just like the look of Minecraft. It doesn't change it. Some of these shader packs really do change the way that Minecraft looks in itself. And last up, we got Solas shaders packs right here. And you could just tell this thing makes everything look so vibrant. One of the downfalls that I will tell you in terms of shader pack, look at that water. Look how good that looks. One of the downfalls that uh, shader packs does bring is it makes darkness look way darker than what it really is and so if you're recording keep that one in mind as you can tell here as i'm facing you and away from the sun how dark i look compared to right here in the sun rays hitting my skin all righty gamers and that is going to be absolutely everything for me hopefully this video helped you guys out if you have any questions make sure to put those ones down in the comment section below and as always this is dr redstone signing out thanks youtube